Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, the, the third type of statements that you can be asked to prove by induction is the inequality ones. So this is um, one example from the book. I have another example from the book. I don't think I could find any in the exam papers. Um, so I'm going to do these ones instead. Prove by induction that n factorial is less than or equal to n to the power of n. For all, n is an element of n. So for all natural numbers, prove that n factorial is less than or equal to um, n to the power of n. Okay. Um, so as always, our first step, show true for n is equal to one. Okay, so on the left-hand side then I'll get one factorial is less than or equal to one to the power of one. Okay, and factorial, um, if you need a reminder, is all the numbers down to one. So five factorial, five by four by three by two by one, Six factorial by six by five by four by three by two by one. Okay, so one factorial is just one. Is less than or equal to one to the power of one is one. Okay, so one is indeed less than or equal to one. Um, it's equal to it. So that's shown true for n is equal to two one. We're going to assume true for n is equal to k. So therefore I get k factorial is less than or equal to k to the power of k. Okay, not too much I can do with that to simplify it. Okay, so let's go on and prove true for n is equal to k plus one. So what I'm trying to prove then is that k plus one factorial is less than or equal to uh, k plus one to the power of k plus one. Okay, um, I'm gonna work from the left-hand side. Okay, for a start and, and see where it brings me because I can work k factorial into k plus one factorial. Okay, so for example, um, remember we took the case five factorial being equal to five by four by three by two by one. And we said then six factorial was equal to six by five by four by three by two by one. I could also write six factorial by six by five factorial. Okay, now let's assume that this is my K and this is my K plus one. Okay, are you okay then? that I could write k plus one factorial as k plus one times k factorial. Okay, so any factorial is all of the numbers lower than it, factorial, by the new term. And our new term is k plus one. Okay, so therefore I'm going to write k plus one factorial as k factorial by the new term k plus one. Okay, and um, so I hope that makes sense. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is because I want to work in my assumption that I'm making for n is equal to k. So then instead of k factorial, I'm going to sub in k to the power of k. So this is k to the power of k times k plus one. Okay. And just, um, I'm gonna write a note here. That is the assumption taken from n is equal to k. Okay, and then I'm comparing this with what I have here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to say now that k to the power of k by k plus one, what I have written there on the left, has to be less than k plus one to the power of k times k plus one. Okay, 
So what did I do there? Well, I'm saying K would have to be less than K plus one. Okay, because remember we're working with natural numbers, so they're going up. So I need to make it look like this side. So I'm saying therefore that K factor or K to the power of K has to be less than K plus one to the power of K. Okay, I didn't change anything else. I just making that statement. Okay, and then if you'll allow me, I'll just finish this up here. This piece here. I'm going to write down that line that I have down the bottom again. Okay, so I'm saying that k must be less than k plus one. Okay, because it's inequalities I'm dealing with. And I'm just going to put a little one there. Okay, and then using the rules of indices, again, I'm going to merge those two expressions together. The base numbers are the same, so I'm going to add their powers. That's your base number, so I'm going to add the powers. Okay. So what I have said there then is k plus one factorial, which is what I started with, is less than k plus one to the power of k plus one. Okay, so basically what we've shown is that k plus one factorial is indeed less than or equal to k plus one to the power of k plus one. Okay, I've rewritten this is the same as this. I've said it's less than it. So therefore, it must be less than or equal to it. Okay, therefore, p of k plus one holds true if p of k is true. P of one is also true. Therefore, P of n is true for all n an element of n. Okay, so just to have a look back over what we did, you have to know that you break the K plus one factorial into K factorial by the new term, okay? This allows you then to sub back in your assumption for n is equal to k. And then this, I think, is the line that, that, that's probably the hardest to remember. You are trying to make it look like what's on the right. So you're saying, well, that has to be equal. That has to be less than k plus 1 uh, to the power of k. k to the power of k has to be less than k plus 1 to the power of k. OK, and then just so using the root cancel your um your k plus one on either side there and just finish it there then no yeah you could have you absolutely could have yeah except i hadn't really brought in this side just yet i was only ever really working from this side but yeah you could that would work just as good okay it was only when i went back to this line again that i brought in the right hand side if you've enjoyed this video then why not join us in it sligo and use maths in practice in conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.